Well, hello, tubers. I hope you're doing well, wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe we call YouTube. I know the last few days have been especially difficult for many of you Americans, and my sympathy and frustration is not lost during this uh, crazy time that we're going through. But I'd like to tell you a story and make the point that misery doesn't need to be shared to be understood or corrected. Many people come to the USA for a better life and often they're successful. After many years of hard work and struggle, people achieve a certain degree of success. They start a small business, they raise a family, they do all sorts of wonderful things and become productive members of society. Many of them move to Los Angeles, immigrants from Israel, immigrants from Latin America, many parts of the world. And they worked hard, they did well. Many of them started businesses in Los Angeles that employed other people, helped contribute to the tax base, and were respected citizens. Then one day, hundreds of miles away in Minneapolis, a tragedy occurs, an unexplainable tragedy that should not have occurred. And then, a few days later, a business that you're running on Melrose Avenue, that you worked hard to build, that you provide jobs to, suddenly is burned to the ground. Now, whoever did this could be any race. It really doesn't matter when it comes to criminal activity because people of all races commit crimes. Let's just be honest about that. So the race of people involved in burning your business down honestly has nothing to do with it because it's just a crime and it's wrong. So in spite of you being an immigrant and working hard to build the business up in Los Angeles, you now do not have a business and you no longer can employ people, you can no longer pay taxes, you can no longer participate in the American dream because someone decided to burn your business down because of a tragedy that happened hundreds of miles away. For some strange reason, I cannot connect the dots on why one misery that occurs somewhere else to somebody else should be intentionally shared with some other immigrant in a different city miles away. I don't see the connection on how that is actually fair. I do not see the connection on how sharing this type of misery and inequality with somebody in a different city who also is an immigrant is actually fair. It just defies logic for me. I've spent a lot of time in Los Angeles and I've seen many neighborhoods not have the same opportunities as say the wealthier neighborhoods and starting a business in a tough neighborhood is a leap of faith but people in the poor communities need businesses they need a tax base and they need employment there's nothing wrong with that and I fail to see why destroying jobs and the tax base and businesses actually helps people when it comes to fighting for inequality and justice. I don't understand. 
and justice should have nothing to do with the person's race, and the law should be blind to these particular things. Now, often we know that's not the case, but we're making strides. Since I was born in the 1960s, civil rights have increased for everybody. I think that's a good thing. Human beings are not perfect. They make mistakes. All we can do is hold people that make mistakes accountable. That's about all we can do as human beings. And holding people accountable when it's clearly criminal needs to happen. And that includes police officers, it includes librarians, it includes people that just work at the sandwich shop. So if you are like me and you cannot understand why misery being shared in cities all across North America is somehow helping civil rights, please put your comments down below because I fail to see the connection there. So I hope cooler heads prevail in the upcoming days and weeks and we can all learn to just move on and get along. So in the meantime folks, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, and I'll talk to you soon, over and out.